coming soon to a town nowhere near you. Combine the World Series with the Super Bowl. Add 20 feet of snow, 600 sled dogs, and 1,000 miles of lonely Arctic wilderness, and together they create the last great race. The Iditarod Sled Dog Race is the, uh, the last great race, as Alaskans know it. It's not like most other sporting events. It's really a battle of the elements. The finish line here in Nome is hard to get to because, you know, you look out here, we're isolated. <laughs> you know, look over my shoulder. This is real. <laughs> this is not a Hollywood set. It's Alaska. Brenda Krim knows Alaska better than most anybody. She's a North American missionary here. And every March, she brings Southern Baptist volunteers to Nome to work behind the scenes at the Iditarod. We're doing everything we can think of and offering ourselves as, you know, as in every way we can to do the jobs that are hard to find volunteers for and everyone notices. Brenda's volunteers deliver dog food, even when it means a three-hour snowmobile ride across a frozen ocean. I've never been this cold in my life. I, my freezer's not even this cold. At the Iditarod basketball tournament, Brenda's volunteers work the concession stand and give out free Bibles with every reindeer dog. These uh, Bibles, you can take these for free if y'all want. We do the dirty work that nobody else wants to do, and then we get an opportunity one-on-one -on -one to talk to people. And outside on a busy street corner, Brenda's volunteers hand out free coffee and share Jesus with race fans. Mainly we just, we talk to people. We ask, where are you from? And and are you having a good time? Yet we're sharing the word with, with them. Everybody's making friends every day. So there's things we're able to do that could never happen through one person. I want you to know what Jesus did for you when he died on the cross for you. And that's how God works. We're all connected. We're all connected to accomplish this ministry together. That means that while her volunteers work in Nome, Brenda travels out to Eskimo villages. On her sled, the two things Eskimos need more than anything else, buckets and Bibles. I was talking to some of the women, I said, well, if a missionary came up here, what's some things you need here up here in the Arctic? And they looked around, well, we need buckets. We gather caribou meat in them. We use them to ice fish. We need it for everything. And I thought later, yeah, we could put a Bible in it and call a Bible in a bucket. And so we're getting opportunities. I've had several opportunities to encourage and pray with, with people that are spilling out their concerns when they find out what I'm here for. They're quick to let you into their hearts. This year, it was the middle of the night when the winning team made it to the Iditarod finish line. Crowds cheered and cameras flashed, but something newsworthy had already happened this week in Nome, Alaska. And it happened because Southern Baptists gave to the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. It's possible to reach this place. And because of Annie Armstrong this week, we've already seen 34 people come to Christ. And so when someone fills out, out that Annie Armstrong envelope, count it as a soul. It's no easy task. Uh, this isn't for wimps, you know. But the reality is, urgency is right now, today. Let's get it done today. I'll miss you. A missionary, her volunteers, Annie Armstrong, and you in Nome, Alaska. Those are the real stars of this last great race. And one day, when that race reaches the finish line, there will truly be no place like Nome.